Hi friends, I'm so glad you stopped by and I have something really fun for you to watch. You see, we have great neighbors here at Johnny and Friends. Right across the parking lot is the Sheraton Agora Hills, a wonderful hotel with whom we have a great partnership. Recently, Greg Milliken of Sheraton Agora Hills surprised me. I wheeled into his lobby and there was a big welcome from his staff. What was all the to-do about? Well, they were um, naming their ADA-approved suite the Johnny Erickson Tata Suite. It's a beautiful hotel room with all the amenities that will really be pretty special for people with disabilities who come and stay at the Sheraton. And uh, I had a chance to cut the ribbon and there were speeches by the mayor, so take a look. Welcome you to the Sheraton Agora Hills Hotel and your special dedication of our ADA suite. Well, I am most honored and so excited that the Sheraton uh, Hotel Agora Hills has made this commitment to accessibility. I think that's so awesome. And plus, we, we love having you as a neighbor. Well, wow, thank you. We love having you. Great. Um, okay, thank you guys. and honor the many people with disabilities who will be enjoying all the amenities of the Sheridan uh, Hotel Agora Hills. So, you may cut the ribbon, sir. Sure. We'll cut the ribbon. And the sign, yes, please. Up, the and the sign. Let's pull the sign. Let's pull the sign. Here, maybe you can. Uh, maybe you can help me with it. Here, we'll there you go, we'll together. do it together. Ready, one, two, three. <laughs> oh, look at that, wow! That is so cool. So Number 204 will now be my one. new favorite number. Well, come on into my suite, friends. <laughs> city of Agora Hills, on behalf of the city council and all the residents, we have a proclamation for you. And uh, I think they're going to put it in the room, case it, and uh, in honor of you. And all it talks about all the wonderful things you've done for oh, humanity, people wow. all over the world. So thank you. God bless you on behalf of the city council. We're so happy to have oh, you. Oh, Mayor Weber, thank you so You're much. Sweetheart. You, you and the rest of the council. City Council honor me tremendously. Uh, I have the privilege of uh, praying and dedicating uh, this room in, in your honor. So let's uh, look to the Lord. Father, thank you for Johnny, for her story, her life, her testimony. I pray that each family, each person who stays in this suite would uh, find a special blessing for being here and that they would be reminded of uh, your goodness and your grace even as they mm -hmm. visit the Sheraton and visit our community here. We ask your blessing. We dedicate this place in, in the honor of Johnny, mm. in Jesus' name. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you. Um, I take one look around, uh, Greg and Matt and the rest of the friends here at uh, Sheridan and Gore Hills, and I'm just, I'm just so overwhelmed with these beautiful paintings, and I know that my books will be available to people who come here to the suite, and, and it just means the world that you had invited me earlier. Um, to inspect it and to make certain that it truly was indeed accessible because I know hotel rooms. <laughs> Believe me, I've been in many of them and when they are accessible, it just it means the world. I just want to say a few words. Um, uh, the fact that this is an ADA suite, uh, it has special meaning to me personally. Um, I served on the National Council on Disability under President Reagan and then was reappointed under President Bush. And during my tenure on the National Council on Disability under President Bush, our council had the honor of drafting the original Americans with Disabilities Act. Uh, that version of the bill did not pass Congress, but a revised version on the following year did in 1990. And uh, I will never forget our 15-member council, all of us with various kinds of disabilities, some parents with special needs kids, um, our council and our executive director, uh, a man with uh, brittle bone disease named uh, Paul Hearn. Uh, we were all on the South Lawn of the White House there to witness President Bush sign the ADA into law. It was a grand occasion and uh, a cause for much celebration. And um, uh, after the bill was signed, uh, Paul Hearn, our director, turned to us and announced that we would be having a reception over at the Hyatt Regency. Sorry, a different hotel. <laughs> And um, it was going to be a, 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 a reception, obviously, to celebrate uh, the passage of the ADA. But I noticed that um, our director, Paul, was very quiet during the reception. And finally, he, he wheeled his chair forward and said, I want to propose a toast. 
And this is what he said. He said, this law is a wonderful landmark civil rights legislation for people with disabilities in America. It'll mean that discriminatory policies against uh, hiring people with disabilities will now be removed. It'll mean that there'll be greater access in uh, public accommodations, including restaurants. It'll mean that one day every bus across America will have uh, a mechanical lift so that people with disabilities and wheelchairs can have accessible transportation. And then he paused and said, um, but this bill will not change the employer's hearts. This bill will not change the heart of the owner of the restaurant or the maitre d'. This bill will not change the heart of the bus driver. And then he raised his glass and said, here's to changed hearts. And at that moment, tears are pouring down my eyes because I, it struck me that um, the job of changing people's hearts cannot be accomplished through state proclamations, even declarations, um, civil rights legislation. What will change hearts is the gospel of, of Jesus. And I realized sitting there, that's our job. That's our job as followers of, of the God of the Bible. So um, I, I, I wanna thank you, Greg, and, and all of you connected with uh, Sheridan Hotel of Gordon Hills for just going overboard to change hearts. Um, the warmth, the hospitality, the care, the uh, personal concern and interest that has been invested in this particular suite indicates to all of us at Johnny and Friends your desire to be um, a change agent for people's hearts. And that means the world to us. We love being your neighbor. And any time that you can call on us at Johnny and Friends to uh, advance your own goals here at the organization, you must let us know.